Let's see if we get something here. You can see on a different uh, footprint, which I, will, which I will show you later, that we have indeed an auction to the downside there. If I uh, want to see more than, uh, I want to see growing volume here. above the 869 and the 799 i want to see growing numbers they're trying to put the line in the sand here at uh, 36 and 3625 let's see if we can hold that and build volume above it look for growing volume so if we get the signal 4266 for the first target and then uh, i would say 3850 is a good first target just below the high volume area that we have here and then let's shoot for about 12 ticks. And uh, that would give us, let's say something around 40, 40, 40. So yeah, just below that uh, high lamp here. Okay, so we got the signal. Price action is moving up and building volumes, very nice. So your entry price should be somewhere above that line in the sand they put there. If you want to be conservative, maybe something around 37, 38. One, two, three, four. So first target just there, we talked about 38.50, 38 That's a little bit more than four to six ticks. So you want to be a bit more conservative there. Maybe 38.25 or 38.50, yeah, that sounds good. Then you move your stop to a PL break even. So entry minus uh, three, four ticks. And then we wait to see whether that line in the sand can be maintained here, if we can get more on the upside. It's an attempt to, uh, to close the gap as well. So just be wary that uh, this could stop around 39 and uh, 39.50. Well, we are actually two ticks short of that. So very mechanical trading, short-term traders that play here. Let's see if we can get more. So we are leaning on this uh, exponential moving average here that we expect to uh, turn positive and the rejection that you see in the previous candlestick here. Let's see if we can get some continuation. Line in the sand here, 37.25, 37.50. If we collapse, three, four ticks below that, likely what is at the move will be over. really want them to try to maintain that. Feels to me like uh, they are struggling right now. As an attempt to uh, absorb the volume, but uh, the pressure is pretty high. You can see how the bids are growing here around 37, 37, 25, and the sellers are here trying to push, and they just couldn't, and we had to move back up to 38. Can they hold it? So second target, we're shooting for 40, two ticks below this uh, high lamp here. Let's see if we can get it. That would put in, uh, that would put us in uh, yesterday's range. 
So just to be clear, I'm saying that every time, but it's important. I'm just walking you through the thinking process. What I see, how I would take the trades. Uh, I'm not advising anybody to take those trades. I just want you to understand how I do it. So you can uh, reproduce the process when you trade on your own. Okay, so still trying to hold that line in 1337. Uh, but I don't see any sign of continuation yet. Maybe now. If you can get some growing volume on the on the offer. Shooting for 2040. If you can keep growing some uh, volume at the top there. You can see some sellers at 38. And some form of exhaustion at 38.25. Feels to me like uh, there's some profit taking there. Okay, we're going through, very good. It's just a question of patience. Let's see if we can get some continuation and shoot for 40. After that, we've got 47.50 and you want to take something below that, so maybe around 45, just to avoid the rejection at the end of this low volume area, so something around 45, 45, 25 would be good for a third target. So let me just draw some uh, horizontal lines. So first target, assuming you enter, let's say even 4 ticks above that, 37. Oh my God, we're going, okay, that's there, it's going. Fantastic, let me go into automatic scaling so we can see what's happening. So I think we talked about maybe 38.50 for first target. Second target, we talked about 40, two ticks below this one. Uh, we've got 12, uh, 12, 13 points already on the way up. After that, You want to shoot for, let me just draw horizontal line. We said probably something around 45, 45, 25 here. Now your stop should be at break even, of course. I'm looking at the vol stop, 37.50. So yeah, your stop should be now around uh, 37.50. And I uh, can see some profit taking there at 43. Maybe that's going to be the end of the rotation. But at least we got two targets out of it. So that means it's a good trade. Let's see if we can get some continuation for more. Then I would shoot for draw horizontal line. Something around 49 because I've got a 2050 after that. Okay, so just to summarize entry just above, well, let's go first. Line in the sand. 36, 36, 25. Entry between 36, 50 and 37, 25, depending on how aggressive you want to be. Target one, we said that 38, 50. Target two. 40, 
target 3, let's say 45. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? Do you all understand the trade and what we are trying to do here? You look very quiet to me. Merci, merci Olivier. <laughs> Allez, we get 45 as well. Fantastic. Very good trade. Okay, let's shoot for 49. Now, let's see whether we can get that. Ball stop at 40. So your stop should be there now. You get three targets. Next target, 49.50. Yep. That's a nice move. That's the kind of trade that you have to stay in. That's the one that pays for all your bottom line. If you snatch your profit and you don't stay on those trades, then you can't be profitable. That's those 10 to 20% of trades where you need to get in. You need to stay with the move and uh, shoot for more. So as you see, my style is to be a little bit conservative at the beginning and get some of the position size out across six, six to 12 ticks based on structure if possible. Then shoot for more, especially if I see that the move is quite strong like we saw today. And then get a runner on the fourth target uh, just below that psychological level and around the high volume number to get there. Okay, so stop at uh, 2040 now. So that means that even on the last lot, you get about uh, four points or 20 ticks. So if you trade four lots, 20 ticks. On the last lot, minimum profit now. That would be 40 minus, let's be conservative, 36, uh, sorry, 30, that was 37.25, not 38.25, minus 37.25, uh, so that's 275 points, which is 11 ticks profit on the last target, whatever happens.